Today we're going to look at the pockets tutorial. We're going to make an inseam pocket and I've done this tutorial before but I realised it wasn't that clear so we are going to do it again. So in this little pack which is available on my website you get a free um, pattern. The pattern is the inseam pocket pattern which you can see here. You also get a sample piece which would emulate one side of a, a garment that you are, would be wearing to allow you to attach the pocket pattern and be able to see how the construction goes together. Notice with my patterns you will always find notches. The notches are indicated here and here and these are to help you put the pattern pieces together to make it easy for construction. You will also notice I have added a grain line to help you with pattern placement, um, fabric placement, sorry. And of course, there is a seam allowance. So on this occasion, we have got 1.2 seam allowance with the option to be able to overlock the edges to prevent fraying. Now, when you buy a garment from um, somewhere like, I don't know, Sainsbury's, I know there are many other suppliers out there, but when you buy fast fashion, you will buy a gar you will have it and it will have pockets, but you won't have this extra indication line here. The reason why we have this, which I call a jog, is because it means that when the pocket sits inside the garment, it actually falls deep within the garment and the pocket doesn't show outside. So that's why we've got this extra option here. When you're using this to for yourself, and if you wanted to put pockets in one of your own garments, this is your pattern piece. I'll take this other piece away. So this is your pattern piece and all you would do is you would And all you would do is you would, with your little unpicker, which you can see here, unpick the stitches of the area where you want the pocket to go. Use this pattern piece as a guide. And the pattern piece doesn't have to, you, the fabric that you use for the pattern piece doesn't have to be the fabric that you've got currently in the garment. So you could use anything really because your pockets are meant to be inside and they're meant to be lightweight anyway. So cut yourself your pattern pieces out. You would cut four because this is a whole po pocket bag. Two for one side, two for the opposite side if you're having pockets on both sides. And using the following method that we're going to do today, you'll be able to stitch yourself pockets within any garment of your choice. Welcome back. So what I did was I have overlooked just one side of the fabric, the important side. This being the important side for me. The area where I think it's going to fray. I'm going to, I'll cut my threads in a second. So I've just overlooked one side there and one side there of my pattern piece. And I'm just going to cut all my threads now with my thread snips. And it's important to um, overlock because it prevents the fabric from fraying. That's the reason why we would overlock. If you didn't have an overlocker, you would zigzag or you would overcast your fabric and that would do the exact same thing. So that at least when you put it in the, di in the dishwasher, when you put it in the washing machine, it doesn't fray. And that's why we overlock. So I have prepared my fabric. We now treat each piece individually. We would open it up and we're going to treat each piece. So we're going to focus on this one piece here that you can see. So what we do is right side to right side. We line up our pocket piece. Our pocket bag always faces downwards because our hands go in at an angle. We will pin straight down this side seam here and where we have pinned is where we will sew. 
one it's 1.2 centimeters you can go one centimeter if you prefer back stitch so back stitch at the end and then i'll come back and i'll show you what we do next okay so i'm back from the sewing machine and what i've done is i've given this seam a nice press so i'll just close it and let you see what i've done so there is the stitch line that I have sewn and what I did was I opened it out and I pressed the seam towards the pocket just to flatten it out what it does it sets the seam flattens it out and then I added a top stitch just along there so here's the top stitch that I've run just here you would obviously do yours in uh, a coordinating thread but I've done many pink so that you can clearly see it it's nice and visible and the purpose of these tutorials is really to give you a chance to be able to practice the concept so that you understand the construction of how an inseam pocket would go together so that when you um, are making these in your own with your, using your own patterns rather you don't have to worry in case you make a mistake you know, because you've already got an idea. So all the patterns in any of the tutorials that you see, I draft them all myself because I work as a pattern cutter and that's my um, job. So oh, you can see I've missed a bit there where I was ironing. Anyway, so we put our fabrics right sides to right sides. And what we're gonna do now is our final stitch. We will sew all the way. So it will be a one centimeter pivot and then one centimeter all the way around the outside of the pocket. Make sure you've got this piece down. So you might want to put a couple of pins just to pin these little pieces down here and same at the other side if you've just missed it like I have. So one centimeter pivot and one centimeter all the way down and I'll see you back here in a minute. Okay, welcome back. So, if we look at the stitch, I have gone one centimetre all the way down, pivoted, stitched all the way around the outside of the pocket, pivoted and all the way down. And when we open the garment and we turn it the right way, we will see that the pocket is hidden inside and our hands are able to fit in the pocket. So we know that this pattern piece works perfectly. Final thing before I go is just to say that this is now an open seam. If you wanted this as a closed seam or to prevent the fabric from fraying here, you would overlock around the edge of this pocket and that will keep it from fraying. And there we have it, inseam pocket with free pattern don't forget the free pattern there for you to practice enjoy and thank you and i'll see you again